Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, the Chapter 2 Day 1 Patrol continued into the Harbor District and the IBC as we found ourselves swept into the Hayway Trading Building. Asal asked the SSS to give a tour to the Hayway VIP Shin, starting Shin in the city. We took the young heir to the IBC and then along East Street, introducing him to Kia and Shizuku and Chairman Moores as we now head into Long Lao. Right. I think we talked to you. Yeah. Nothing to do with you and Shin. Obviously, he'll like here. Long Lao. Do they even have Eastern style eateries on East Street, do they? Would you like to stop here for a break? A fine idea. I was just starting to get hungry, in fact. I'd like to see exactly what kind of food is served here. So was Long Lao to your liking? I'd also like to hear from someone as well versed in Eastern cuisine as you. What is the meaning of this? Dishes like this, at these prices, is the owner out of his mind? L lower your voice, Shin, if they hear you complaining. Wait, let him finish. For example, this map of tofu is better than anything I've had from the three-star restaurants in the Eastern Quarter. Something this exquisite should be twice as expensive, so why isn't it? So that's why you were upset. I, I don't believe this. How long has a restaurant of this quality been hiding in Crossbell? <laughs> well, either way, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Nice. Wait, have I been in here? I didn't come here, did I, when I went through East Street? I've not been here at all yet. <laughs> wow. I'm restricting traffic on East Crosswell Highway all the way to Tangram Gate tomorrow. It won't be for the entire day, but I'll still need to shuffle some deliveries on the schedule. I'm sure you will. Oh, you're that cutie from before. Come again, okay. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, okay. I'll change dialogue here no matter what. How many times must I tell you, dear? You shouldn't talk with your mouth full. Have some manners for once. Cosmos mm. economy is as booming as they say. Old city's a buzz over the big trade conference. Reporter Noticia. This restaurant feels as authentic as any of the ones in the Eastern Quarter. I wonder if Neil and Dorothy are over there having an Eastern lunch of their own right now. Hello. Wow, I completely forgot. Bruce has a habit of overthinking things. What use is there in worrying? We'll make it big for sure as long as we keep working hard. This might have changed dialogue for at least... I say two people in here because I'd imagine there's a conversation there too. Master's a penchant for Eastern martial arts. He said he used to drive out all the ruffians himself when he worked in the Eastern Quarter. In other words, that death glare he used whenever guys gawk at Shan Shan isn't just for show. I wouldn't get on his bad side knowing that. He'll make you regret it for sure. I heard you shouting about my food, little one. Well, how was it? D don't call me little. But yes, the meal itself was delicious. Though it's far too cheaply priced for the quality. You should consider raising... You're quite the business acumen for someone so young. But consider the following. Long Lao's food is for our customers, not profit. I have no intention of driving away the common man. It is for that reason that I will never change my prices. Oh, oh, my apologies for not considering that. You fell into line pretty fast there. You may be young, little one, but I can tell you were wise. Buck and Roos could learn a thing or ten from you. Nice. Buck is starting to look like he's enjoying his job here a little too much. I he's totally forgot about our plan to open a shop together in the future. The only reason we started working here was to build up some cash for our own business. With how much Puck's been enjoying this job, it's like he's forgotten all about that. I totally forgot to explore this place. Whoops. My bad. And what's your full dialogue, sir? I hope they'll be restricting traffic on East Crosswell Highway all the way to Tangram Gate tomorrow. The Kawa president will be passing through on his way to the conference, so they've got to keep the road secure. It won't be for the entire day, but this still throws a bit of a wrench in my work schedule. That was the full dialogue. I'm assuming then that, uh... Whatever you would say before Jin was here. I might be able to find out when we come back. Once we've dropped Jin off somewhere, I don't know. 
You want to check out here? You do! I mean, again, if you want to check out really what ticks here, this is a good place to go. Just what is this place? It's so dreary. This is a downtown district. Sadly, it was left behind during the city's redevelopment years ago. Is that so? Hmm, I suppose every nation has these sorts of places. I've seen enough. Bring me back to East Street post haste. Yeah, okay. I have no interest in that place. Let's go elsewhere. Really? That's all you had to say about it? It's more the fact that everywhere has all these kind of places and I'm, I'm assuming what was meant to get across there. Cool. Right, well, we've done East Street. <laughs> now the square. We go to times last, right? Yes. <laughs> it's like doing another patrol in our patrol for a side quest. <laughs> This would be Central Square, correct? It's about as busy as I would expect a fire fair to be. That's right, Times Department Store is only a stone's throw away from us too. Should we head there right now? I'll let the three of you figure that out. After all, as long as I get to stay by Ellie's side, I couldn't be happier. We heard you the 40th time. That's very sweet of you, Shin. Well, we're already in the area. May as well take a look around while we're at it. Hey, little buddy, take a look at these fun balloons. See, they flow in the air all on their own. How would you like to have one? I wouldn't, as a matter of fact. It'd only get in my way. Okay, what color would you... Wait, what did you say? It'd get in your way? Someone told me Zin hates being treated like a kid. Sure, not every kid out there loves balloons, but I didn't expect to get rejected so coldly. It's got me feeling kind of deflated. Good. Good job. Oh, hi, Lloyd. Hi, SSS. Hi, kid I don't know. <laughs> your clothes are so cool. They're Eastern style, right? Oh, I'm surprised you noticed their exceptional quality. You show promise. I'll have you know this outfit was specially made to order. Made to order. Oh, so those clothes are for maids. No, you fool. That's not what I said. <laughs> this is actually kind of adorable. Made to order, huh? So wait, does that mean you're a girl? What part of no do you not understand? Yeah. It's only going to be very certain people that have dialogue. What about you? No. The thirsty firsts over here don't have any dialogue. Hmm, there's a department store over that way. Uh, no. This way leads to Station Street. And there you have it. Let's turn back quickly now. Sh sure, sorry about that. Sometimes you like to have a look. Giron Armory. This is a licensed weapon shop, correct? Why don't we have a look around inside then? Sorry, Shin. This place may be up on the up and up, but it's still an armory, just like it says on the sign. There's no way we can take you into a place with so many dangerous weapons inside. Oh, I don't see the problem, so long as I don't touch them. It's got my interest. End of story. I say we're going in. We're going in. Oh, I'll let you field this one, Ellie. Leave it to me, Lloyd. Listen, Shin. You're one of the most important individuals we've ever had the pleasure of escorting. It's for that reason that we simply can't take any threats to your safety lightly. You're smart, Shin. I'm sure you can see our perspective here, can't you? Oh, you make a compelling case. I'm glad you understand. I knew your wisdom would shine through in the end. Yeah, yes, you're right. I am wise. Ellie made that look easy. No sense heading into the army while Zin is with us. <laughs> Off we go, Shin. We can't go in. This is where we work, Shin. W what's with that giant dog? Sight. What's he doing out here? You're scared of dogs. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted a breath of fresh air. Is everything all right, Shin? Oh, did Zyke frighten you? Relatable, to be honest. It's not like I wasn't scared of him myself at first. What are you talking about? Nothing scares me. You got that? Absolutely nothing. Um, I decided this spot holds nothing of interest to me. Let's move on to the next. Sure thing. It may all just be bravado, but you have to admire his commitment. <laughs> Go back. Hey, hey, hey! I said this spot doesn't interest me. Let's get back to the square. Sure thing. <laughs> I just keep taking him. <laughs> Seems a bit mean. What about West Street? Do you want to have a look? West Street is just up ahead. We probably shouldn't stray too far from the department store, though. Let's turn back. But he wants to see people! You already yet, so I'm guessing you don't have any interest in things set. No dialogue. 
Nothing. No. Nothing interests him here, or no one pays attention to him. Thing set was a bust. But yeah, he's already yet, so why would he want to come here again? Wonder who paid for the Mapu Tofu? <laughs> a shopping arcade, huh? This would be the entrance to Crossbell's back alley, correct? Right, you've heard of it, huh? We don't have any reason to go there right now, though. Uh, so past is where Ravash once stood, just like Sal and the others told me. Okay. Well, we checked out nearly everything here. That isn't the back alley. Uh, that isn't the Times Department store. So this is the Orbal store, huh? I've often seen it covered in magazines and such. Between the decor and the merchandise, everything seems very state-of-the-art. I'll admit I don't think anything in Cowboy equals this in terms of scale. Genten does carry a variety of products from nations all around. It's a testament to Crosswell's status as a cultural melting pot. Speaking of cutting edge, they also sell computers here that you can hook up to the Orbal network. Orbal network, you say? Yeah, basically it's the system that helped bring communication devices into the modern age. The Orbal network project has been steadily growing thanks to the work of the Epstein Foundation. By accessing it through a terminal, you can transmit not only your voice, but text and pictures, too. Wow, technology's come so far. Uh, not that I'm surprised. What do you think you are, anyway? A walking encyclopedia? Quit trying to show off. I wouldn't really say I was. Now, Shin, it's not a competition. Learning new things is good for you. Yeah, I don't imagine there'd be many people here that want to chat. Maybe the manager? Nope. I guess Wendy then. Don't worry, these guys are gonna come for you. What's my dad of it? Nope, you've not knew either. Hiya, Lloyd! What's with the kid? He's a little cutie, isn't he? We just babysit, uh, looking after him. He wants us to give him a tour of the city. Oh, yeah? So he's not from around these parts, then? Hey there, little man. Is this your first time inside a normal store? Just take your time looking around. You'll be sure to find something that steals your heart away. Right. My heart. Gotta say, giving tours of Crossbell sounds like a whole lot of fun. Huh, never a dull moment at the SSS, is there? Uh, I'd say that seems to be it. I'll drop a save just in case. <laughs> to the roof. Oh, wait, 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 we haven't gone to the admin district. Well, here we are, Times Department Store. Is there any other place you'd like to take Jin first? We won't have a chance to show him around anywhere else once we enter. The decision is yours. Either way, try to be quick about it. We'll just take you towards the admin district. I don't think I went there. On well, second thought, maybe there are a few other places we can take him. Let's hold off on entering for now. Where are you going, Lloyd? This way leads to the administrative district. Oh, you're right. I said back. Isn't that the department store right over there? Okay, so that's a no. Do you want to head into times now? We won't have a chance to show Zinna around anywhere else once we enter. I say we've chaperoned him enough for one field trip. Let's head inside. Good. I've been looking forward to this one. And let's not keep you waiting. And there they go. Right into the department store. Something the matter, Randy? Yeah, I kept feeling like we weren't the only ones tailing them back there. Hmm, you too. I got the same impression myself. Yeah, I figure it's probably some of Hayaway's henchmen keeping an eye on us. Still, could have sworn I sent something more than that. I can tell you exactly what it was, though. I know what you mean. But either way, all we can do for now is continue observing the situation. True enough. Well, here we are. Why don't we check out a few of the shops before we head to the roof? Very well. Lead the way. Gotta check the shops, do we? Not you. I see this store deals in a variety of imported foodstuffs. 
Ah, they even carry soy sauce. Well, hello y there, young man. Are you from out east by chance? We offer a wide selection of authentic ingredients that any Easterner is sure to approve of. If there's anything we don't have that you'd like to see on our shelves, let just let me know and I'll put in a special order. Okay, I'll think about it. If there's anything we don't have, I'd be happy to put in a special order for them. So just let me know if you think of anything you might like to see on our shelves. Uh, didn't he block you when you tried to go to the admin district and the harbor district? Yes, but it's a different entrance. <laughs> there may be something that happens. <laughs> You're saying the same thing. You're saying the same thing. Oh, Miss Ellie, I see you brought an unusual guest for you today. Yes, we're giving this boy a tour of Crossbell. That's so. Well, I'm honored that you consider times worth visiting. Please stay as you'd like. As long as you like, even. Sure thing, I'll stay as long as I like. Are these the fabled Mishy plushies? <laughs> They're for Tio, not for you. What are they doing here? This isn't Michelin. Oh, yes, this general store recently added a dedicated display area for Mishy merchandise. I take you're a fan of his gym. But bite your tongue. I'm not going to stand for you mocking me. How could the man fated to lead Hay away possibly be interested in these childish toys? Have you no common sense? You're a kid. Sh Shin, you don't have to take it so personally. Besides, who says members of Hayway can't love Mishi too? <laughs> Enough about this, let's... <laughs> this culture is going to take over the world. What's this? TikTok Mishi available exclusively at times? Gah! Like I said, only an infant would have any interest in these, these play things. I don't care for them one bit, not in the least. He's not fooling anyone. He thinks a certain Hayway elder's grandson doth protest too much. Oh, you like this stuff then? Do you like this? <laughs> Boy spoke to Southwark with a whisper. Excuse me, how much for the TikTok, Mishy? Oh, that'd be 500 mirror. Uh, get a present for the kid. Well, I'm considering it, yeah. It's only 500 mirror. Should I buy it for Shin? <laughs> Why not? All right, one TikTok, Mishy, please. Of course, thank you. We hope to see you again. Hey, just what have you been whispering about over there? Well, funny you should ask. Yeah, this is for you. This is a souvenir of our time together, is it? Lloyd handed the TikTok Mishi over to Shin. Th this is the store's limited edition. Oh, so that's what you were doing. Oh, you're so considerate, Lloyd. I, I don't get it. Just what do you expect me to do with this? Whatever you want. It's a gift, Shin. You should take it. Think of it as a token to remember this day by. A token to remember it by. Well, you've already purchased it, and it'd be disrespectful to toss it in the garbage, so fine, I accept. But let me make just one thing clear. I have no interest in these silly little dolls. Got it? Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you were super interested. Sounds to me like you loved it. I had a feeling you would. This is just great, isn't he? I can't shop. Okay, nothing going on with you. Perhaps you're searching for children's shoes today. We have Zamiria's finest selection. Please take your time browsing our many varied offerings. Okay, you, you have changed dialogue, but not actually dialogue that fits with Shin. By the look of things. Ever so slightly better boots. But less evasion. No new dialogue there. Are we done? I want to bake his accessories. If there's anything that catches your fancy, just let me know. Nothing new that happens there. Would you like a Mishy hat as well? A Mishy tail? Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Helping a lost kid look for his parents or something. I beg your pardon. I am not lost. These three are taking me on a grand tour of Crossbell. Really? So what? Like a field trip? I guess that qualifies as a support request. You guys have your work cut out for you, huh? You don't know the half of it. Anyway, security's out in full force for the first time today. Don't take on too much side work, you hear? Gotta keep that stamina up for the next couple of days. I was wondering if Shin would have an interaction with these burks, but... Nope. 
Hello there, feel free to peruse our latest designs. Just let me know if there's anything you'd like to try on. Okay, the only shop that does anything seems to be downstairs. We're here. Oh wow, the department restores rooftop is quite the view. It's breathtaking, isn't it? You can see the entire cityscape from up here. Indeed, it's managed to exceed my expectations. Oh yes, Orcus Tower. Is that it over there? It may still be covered up, but the way it overshadows the rest of the city is astounding. Come on, Ellie, get up front. Right here, closer to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, try to be careful, you guys. I don't want anyone falling over the rail. So, Shin, were you satisfied with the view from the roof? It was pleasantly adequate, yes. The rest of our citywide tour wasn't too shabby either. I must admit, I think this little outing will be one to remember. Really now? Well, I'm glad you feel that way. I plan to return to Calvert in two days' time, after which I'll once again be surrounded by those stuffy adults forced to endure an endless torrent of studying, such as the fate of a man who will one day command those of others. Shin. That's a lot of responsibility. By the way, Shin, are you enrolled in Sunday school? Yes, as a means of broadening my horizons. Everyone fears the adults guarding me, though, so they don't dare approach. That's why it was so refreshing to meet Kia and Shizuku, was it? I rather enjoyed myself speaking to children my age for a change. <laughs> it's a good thing we ran into them, then. Pardon me, I'm not usually one to engage in useless small talk. At any rate, I've had enough touring for my liking. It's going back to the office at once. Roger that. What an odd quest that we just partook in. It pleases me to know you enjoyed yourself. I'll admit it. It exceeded my expectations. It would seem there's more to Crossbell than just Ark and Shell and the theme park. Now I understand why a shrewd businessman like yourself is so taken by it, Sal. You flatter me, Master Shin. As for you, Detective Bannings, you, Miss McDowell, and the rest of the SSS have my deepest gratitude. I never could have imagined that a simple tour would please Master Shin so greatly. That I'm in your debt. Don't mention it, Sal. We had a fun time as well. It may not be much, but at the very least, we would like to reward you for your efforts. I don't know if that's such a good idea. We're members of the CPD, after all. Oh, I thought you might say that, which is why I refrain from having your remuneration prepared in mirror. Consider this a token of your friendship with Master Shin rather than Hayway. Wait, what? We, uh, have formal of you, Sal. Don't be shy, go on, take it. Someone's pushy. I don't think a no thanks is gonna cut it now that they framed it like that. P probably not. Well, okay, as long as it's not Mira. We appreciate your generosity. A moon spirit gem. I think we should be going now. We'll see you around, Shin. <laughs> Until next time. I'll be looking forward to it, Ellie. Be well. You must have tired yourself out walking around the city like that. Pastries have been prepared for you in your private quarters. Only the choicest delicacies, of course. Uh, is that so? How very thoughtful. Very well, I'll let Grandfather know how well you've taken care of me. He's still young. You noticed before they left, didn't you? That glimpse of his wisdom and talent. I greatly anticipate seeing how useful he will prove in the future. Right. Still, was that the safe decision to make? In the unlikely event they had chosen to target Master Shin, you would have been the one held responsible, Master Sal. Had that been the case, it simply would have been part of our shared destiny. However, they know just as well as I do that it's far too early for them to be making their move. Speaking of which, have we learned anything new on that front? Yes, we've caught wind of two individuals who were tailing Master Shin and the SSS. We currently have them under surveillance. Excellent. Allow them to proceed as they like, but take care to keep out of sight. And see to it that our crimson neighbors don't interfere, if you would. Of course. Right, we've completed quest Shin in the city. There seem to be people hunting to assassinate this kid, possibly. <laughs> the sign is back on again. We're not knocking. 
That was a weird quest doing a tour. It's like a sweep on a sweep. Strength plus 10, ATS plus 10, prevents seal and mute. That's pretty good. Who do I give that to? I mean, it makes sense to give it early, but I've got you with the prevent delay as well and prevent death blows for the obvious reason. I guess it would be you for the time being then. Now, when will we get... Oh, we should probably put that Medal of Valor on too. Team Rush chance up is uh, pretty decent. Don't know how much that'll be by, but... Uh, have we completed the sweep now? Because we talked to these guys? I don't know if it's because of that trade conference, but the streets are a real eyesore with all these peace officers clogging them up. Oh, no. Yeah, you complained. Okay. Doesn't make me wonder how this works now. How about you and the noodles that we mocked? My noodles go down smooth, so no need to mind your P's and Q's. Go on and slurp as much as you like. That's the best way to save their flavor, I always say. There's no peas or cues in noodles, so feel free to slip as much as you'd like. That's the best way to save the flavor. Okay, it looks like some people's dialogue has gone back to normal now. Maybe. Hey, Shizuka, now the sin's gone. Do you want to go play somewhere else? Sure, I don't mind. Would it be alright for us to go out on our own, though? Oh, good point. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's go to the SSS building, Shizuku. Oh, okay. What do you have in mind? Hmm, it's a secret. Playing with Zite. If you look for Kia, she's up on the second floor playing with Shizuku. I'll take good care of them, so don't you worry one bit. So, the, uh, Kia's changed. Well, I guess it's time for us to do main quest stuff. That lady at the counter over there says she's a reporter from LaBelle. Huh, maybe I can get her to take a cute picture of me. Their dialogue's gone back to normal. I hear a number of reporters will be coming to Crossbell tomorrow for the conference. Oh, they better not try to take unsolicited photos of my Shan Shan. Anyone who pulls a camera out in my restaurant will be in for a world of pain. He's told you. Okay, job done. That's the uh, sweep of Crossbell done apart from the outer reaches. Is <laughs> Knight still outside? Hey, okay, your dialogue's gone back to normal. Ah, uh, maybe we need to start putting up a wear of guard dog sign while you're out here. Go okay, woof. <laughs> he moved out. And Chief Sergei isn't here. Right, uh... Onwards, I guess. Let's report what we've done. Only three. A lot more for that. No rank up, though. That should be all our optionals for the day now. So now we've only got our urgent, which again is past two more roads. So on the road again is what we're going to end up doing. Meanwhile, let's put the uh, punching bag up here. And the n another decoration. While at the SSS building, Lloyd and the others decided to take a break from their duties. After a cursory check-in with CPD headquarters, they each retired to their respective rooms to rest. Wait, did we max out his room or something? And then it gives a thing? Phew, got that out of the way. Who knows if I could take a quick nap, but I guess that's not happening. Hey Lloyd, are you there? Yeah, I am. We've got busy work to do. Oh, Shukia, I thought you were going out. What are you doing back so soon? I just forgot something is all, but then I got the feeling you were home, so I came to say hi. Oh, look at all the new stuff you got. <laughs> is it that interesting? I guess they're not things you'd normally find in someone's room. Nope. a model, right? Like the car you have over there? It doesn't look like a normal airship, though. The shape's all different. 
You're right, it's a fi fictional flying machine from a graphic novel. They call it an airplane. It doesn't run on orbital energy, but in the story it can soar through the sky like a bird. Oh, I want to ride one someday. Oh, but you said it's fictional, huh? That means it's not real, right? Well, well, as far as I know, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to fly without orbital energy anyway. Then again, it's hard to imagine, but maybe someone out there really has built something like this before. Oh, hey, what's that then? That is a punching bag. There's a bunch of sand inside, and you can use it for practicing your punches and kicks. It's no substitute for actual boxing, but it's nice for some light training. Oh, I get it. They made it like that, so it doesn't hurt you when you hit it, right? Exactly. She always catches on quick, doesn't she? I can tell she's getting smarter by the minute. <gasps> Kia? Lloyd! <laughs> K Kia, you alright? Ah, that was fun. This thing is great. <laughs> I know what you mean. I think about it, my brother used to have one in his room too. It's a lot bigger and heavier, though. I remember how much it hurt when I tried to punch it. Uh, maybe it'd be better if I got the real deal instead. Hey, Lloyd, can I play with this when you're uh, when you aren't home? Uh, it'll be perfect for practicing my tackles. <laughs> okay, as long as you don't hurt yourself, okay? <laughs> Guess I'll be keeping this one for a little while longer. Completed Lloyd's decoration collection. Oh, okay. Didn't know that was a thing. I guess now we do know, right? We done you. Tio's not here. And we have the racing flag for Noel. Nothing else. And nothing else for Kia. So that should be everything done here. Let's uh Pet the cat and get moving onwards. You're always surprised when something new happens in the game. That you're not like, oh, this is my reward for this, is it? Didn't have anything like that in the previous one. Alright, how do I call my car back? Where's my car? Does anyone remember where my car is? <laughs> oh, I remember where my car is. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> right, so we are taking a trip from here to the fork, and I guess we'll go to Tangram Gate because that's the shortest route. And we can check out the boathouse on the way too. Right, in this massive day, we still have more to go. Because <laughs> we have to finish off all our sweeps, uh, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Get back in there. No, actually, I might move them further apart. Makes them harder to buff, but still. So, new enemies by the look of things. We're on the road again. Do you have I say new enemies, but our team rush chance has gone up, hasn't it? Question for me is what level these dudes are. Lower level than me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's two new enemies. Uh, yes. Yeah. Analyze that, dude. You move in to attack it. Seal. A large frog whose horns vibrate to create a hypnotic song is the horned frog. And a purple char charlotte, even. A plant monster that releases a nauseating stench when it opens up its petals. Hey. 
somewhat unsurprisingly weak to fire as a plan. At least, like, our everything that we're doing today is dwindling. Now we've just got the, the routes to go to <laughs> Ursula Road to St. Ursula, here to Tangram Gate. Yeah. Probably a lot less now. I am happy with our progress. <laughs> well, these journeys never need to be done again. He repeats. 